uh, yeah this video is all about how to configure the exxon server so this is the ppt page so we can configure exxon using uh, three ways uh, you can directly add exxon server dot properties or you can create the config server or you can use hyphen d uh, while running the jar so yeah these are just uh, yeah hyphen d is nothing but a basic jar uh, fundamental where we use uh, the property name and uh, as a key and value uh, for that specific property to run it so we have this url to uh, to know more about the configuration property i already open it in my uh, firefox browser okay so this is the url i already put in the ppt so if you see here we have the system properties so you can uh, yeah you can create the exon server properties file first one after that you can add minus d property with the value after that you can add the environment variable so how to basically execute any property so these are the list of the properties you can use I, I am going to try some of them not all of them so if you want to try you can try it yourself so uh, what it said you need to add first this prefix exxon uh, exxon iq dot the exxon server and after that you need to add this specific property so here the miss yeah uh, we have uh, miss uh, here we have one catch so for example uh, it is saying like no prefix so what it means you don't need to add this prefix so if you see all the properties uh, wherever they mention no prefix there you don't need to use this prefix so for example let's uh, yeah we have this our exxon server here uh, now i am just running it using command prompt so yeah this is cmd i am just typing cmd okay uh, let me run it so the basic way to run uh, the exxon server java minus jar and the jar name okay so yeah let it run so this is how our exxon server start uh, we are going to try the first approach okay the first approach uh, like we are going to create the uh, application dot properties file directly okay so we are creating exon server dot properties file in same folder so i'm just minimizing it uh, application is running on port 8024 so yeah this is localhost 8204 i'm just running it and you see uh, yeah our application is running here so first uh, what i'm doing i'm just creating one properties here so i'm clicking on new and creating one text document and i'm just removing the extension and provide a extension as dot properties exon server dot properties which i copied from here okay i copied from here only so I am putting it and yeah, I am giving the exon server dot properties name. Okay, so let's open this properties. Uh, yeah, let me try uh, the first property. Uh, here we have the name. So uh, I am going to give the name as exon server uh, as the prefix here. And after that we have, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, we have this name as the property. I'm putting dot name and i am just giving the name as pratik's cqrs so as the name so uh, i can show you uh, before um, running uh, this uh, property what it's showing so it is showing uh, my laptop name with some port okay uh, so we are here we have http port which is nothing but 8024 and another one is the grpc port so when we are going to run our spring boot application it is going to connect with this port not with this port this port is just for the showing the uh, what actually miss uh, this port is just showing the web view and this port is for the connectivity so uh, um, let's run it first uh, so i already added property i'm just using the cls and java jar exon server dot jar i'm running it one more time and let's see uh, our property is going to uh, reflect there or not yeah our uh, server is up and running so if i am refreshing this page uh, and still it is not reflecting i'm not sure why uh, let me check Okay, I think I didn't save this applic exon server dot property. That's why. Oh my bad. Okay, let me rerun it one more time. Yeah, our uh, exon server is up. 
now let's check it so you see our uh, property name is reflected so you can try uh, this is the list of properties by yourself uh, i am going to try this server.port property uh, that is nothing but the without prefix okay so let's put that property in application.properties so i am just going to change the port number to uh, 9000 uh, for example uh, 1990 okay uh, not this one i need a equal sign because it is uh, the properties file so i am running again now if you see our application is starting at 1990 so if i uh, so if i refresh this it will not work because our application is started on 1990 sorry my bad i need to put 1990 so yeah this is how you can change the port of the Exxon server so yeah that's it thanks for watching